Welcome to the new forest. Woo! We are starting our day in the village of Brockenhurst and there is a couple of reasons we love it here. One, there are no shortage of places to start your day right with a nice breakfast. And today we chose the Terrace Cafe where we've treated ourselves to a nice iced latte and a breakfast baguette which was absolutely delicious. But the other reason we love it here is because it's got a very unique feature. I have no idea why it is so mesmerizing watching cars drive through a piece of water. It just really is, and people go through with bikes. Yeah, we've just seen somebody go through with a bike as well, but it doesn't fun. seem to be as much water in here as there normally is. No, I it's think... It's the middle of summer, I guess. But then again, we've had a lot of rain recently. I don't really understand that. We have, and also, this area here to the side of the fort is actually called the watershed, and normally you get some of the wild or free-roaming ponies and stuff all drinking from here before they head off into the forest. So you often see some of the animals here. None here today because actually there's not really any water. So which is, as we said, strange. I'm assuming someone will let us know. So if you know, comment down below. It's our turn. <laughs> it's not very exciting going this way though because you have to stop at the end of the road. <laughs> yeah, I suppose you need to go the other way to Whee! prop again a splash. <laughs> Maybe we'll come back this way later. Okay, so we've made it to our first location, Whitefield Moor. Did I get that right? You did get it right, well done. I adopted. <laughs> it's great here though, because you are always guaranteed yep. to see animals. There you are. There are like always animals here, so it's it's great. And it's, today's no exception, there was loads of horses. They're everywhere. That one's having a really good time. He's laying he down, he's like- loving life. Yeah, but literally- Why not? Look. I mean, look where they live. I know, they've got like a whole field. Look at them all just chilling. The whole field, they've got the whole forest. Now it's meant to be summer, but I mean, there's a little bit of blue sky up here. We're hopeful. They say there may be showers, but it's a bit breezy. It's breezy. It's not chilly, but it's not It's warm. fresh. It's fresh. it's fresh. That's a good word for it. But despite the breeze, it's a lot calmer than the last time we were here because the last time we were here, these charged us. Oh my God. Oh, the babies are off. Oh, oh my God. Oh my bloody God. Oh my Christ. Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> They nearly killed us. <laughs> <laughs> there was like a stampede. There was like a kid on a little electric car and it just set them all off. Scared them and... Scared us as well. Us. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It's just got to stay out now. <laughs> Of course, the hazards of being in nature's wonderland. There is plenty of poop. If you want any, leave a comment. We'll bring it and put it in your garden. Good for your roses. <laughs> What's not, the not good if you uh, stick your foot in it, though. <laughs> Spiders, Josh. That's enough to make you itch. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. We have crossed the road. And how stunning is this landscape? It's pretty. All the purple heather just like everywhere. You can see it like literally rolls off over those hills. I want to walk all the way over there and look down on it. Of course you do. So we've come up onto the top of one of the hills and the landscape's completely different up here because there's all like ferns and prickly things that keep prickly jabbing us in things. the legs. I literally turned my head to the left, or was it the right? I can't remember. And I instantly scratched my legs. So <laughs> you have to have your eyes everywhere. But it's sheltered from the wind up here. We found a nice little picnic spot. Look at this little open this bit of grass. This would be perfect, yeah, just to get like a little mat, yeah. snacks, coffee. Nice view. Oh uh, yeah, oh lovely. We've only just had breakfast though, so a bit I'm, early. I'm a bit <laughs> stuffed. We do have snacks in the car for later. It's these things. These are the legs pricklers. They are, they blooming hurt. <laughs> I just noticed though, this bit's nice and open for us to walk through and I literally squeezed through there somehow and got jabbed. A few more years, you'll look lovely in our living room at Christmas. So that is where we've parked the car over there. That is a black cloud. I have visions. Let's get walking. <laughs> well, I made it just in time, but Josh had to use the facilities. Are you dry? Oh, well, there's no hand dryer. <laughs> and there was a woman in there as well. So I was like, oh, 
awkward. Hey. So we're actually doing one of the New Forest's top rated attractions today. We are driving the Rhinefield Ornamental Drive, which is a really pretty road that starts at Brockenhurst, where we started and had breakfast, drives through to Whitefield Moor, where we just stopped. And then there's several other really interesting little places along the route. The magical thing about it is every single place is so different and I'm really excited for the next one. Okay, so we're just parking up, but the first thing I've just seen is an ice cream truck. Well, we hope we're just parking up. I can't see any spaces. <laughs> so we managed to find the parking space thanks to a very nice gentleman that told us he was just about to leave. And we've arrived at the Blackwater Arboretum. I'm very excited because they have giant redwoods and giant sequoia trees here, which you don't really see in the UK very often. And until a couple of years ago, I didn't even know they were in the UK. We're going to do the Tall Trees Trail, which is a one and a half mile loop. Not too far, Josh. It's completely flat. You'll be fine. <laughs> Good. <laughs> On this trail, there are three significant trees that we have to find possibly the heaviest in the UK, the tallest in the UK, and the toughest in the UK, and we ain't leaving until we found them all. That means we're gonna be here all day. <laughs> this is us. <laughs> So we have found the first one. This is the tallest. It is a coast redwood planted, I think it's in 1859. It's taller than me. I am six foot. <laughs> Something's taller than me. It's very much taller than you. It is 50 meters tall. Thank you. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <gasps> Two ice cream. <laughs> I thought that was half running away then. I said, you come back. If you're a good boy and we do the whole mile and a half loop and find all three trees, I'll treat you to an ice cream. Well, that was a spider on my leg. <laughs> I was quite brave then. Um, thank you. <laughs> you right there? Yeah, it feels really weird. It's all soft. It's so like, I was going to say it's very it's soft. It's like felt or yeah. velvet or something. I just wasn't expecting it to feel like that. Okay, so we've managed to find the heaviest one. It is this bad boy here, but there's two of them that look very, very stunning. One slightly taller than the other, so I'm not sure which one is technically the heaviest. I but... would have said probably that, that one there, but is that one more girthy? I don't know. Yeah, but... that, that actually looks more girthy. So yeah, but they're giant sequoias as well, and they're just unbelievable they just tower over all the other types of trees in here they do they like look at me peasants i love the fact as well that the sign that goes with it says that big is beautiful i well, thank you <laughs> well the other one says size matters <laughs> where are we to argue oh look at the little baby christmas tree growing out of the stump of that old one we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Luckily for us, this route is actually really well signed because there's all these little pine cones on posts with white tops on them. Showing us the way and there's loads of little signs and maps as well every point you get to. I like it when it's like that because we yeah. don't get lost. We get lost easy. We, we do. <laughs> we get lost in the moment sometimes. I'm just thinking about ice cream. <laughs> uh -oh. Wait. It was the tree. Uh oh. Go long. Don't start with me. I oh, know the toughest tree in the forest. I know the longest. Tallest? The biggest. Heaviest? Yes. <laughs> I don't know. Onwards. Thinks he's a tall guide. I am a tall guide. Oh, get if it? we were following you anywhere, we'd definitely get lost. Signposts or no signposts. Whatever. So apparently these are the toughest trees in Britain. The Douglas fir. <laughs> I wish I was pointing the camera at you, Yanks. You nearly fell over. It was not camera. It didn't happen. <laughs> so yeah, Douglas fir, uh, toughest tree in Britain. But the sign also claims that it holds the record as the tallest tree in Britain at 60 metres, which is curious because they claim the tallest tree in Britain is over the other side at 50 metres. Makes no sense. I to feel, me. I feel conned. Mm. <laughs> Coniford. I feel conniff. <laughs> anyway, Eeyore, are you in there? Eeyore. <laughs> I don't think he's home. Hello? He must be at his gloomy place. Hello? Josh, never to be seen again. Oh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it's where a bear comes out. As long as it's Pooh the bear and he's got honey. <laughs> he's all, all he's thinking about is this ice cream. Yeah, yeah, too, right? Happy now? Yep. <laughs> got what he wanted. Now, yeah, it's worth walking a mile and a half, isn't it? Do you mind? <laughs> This really is a magical drive. We've just driven more of the forest. We've seen some horses walking right beside the car at the side of the road. And we have now arrived at Boulderwood Deer Sanctuary, but we're not seeing deer to start with. We're seeing more horses. Look at these guys just chomping on the ferns. You're chomping on the ferns, on and on we 
go into the thick of it. But we can't see where we're going. Wow. <laughs> what I was gonna say anyway, before you broke out into musical number, is you literally just said, oh, I don't feel like we've seen many horses today. There you go. <laughs> They're everywhere. <laughs> anyway, let's go deer stalking. Not deer stalking. We didn't bring the binoculars. Yeah. <laughs> we've been here once before, but um, we run out of time because the sun was setting. So we're hoping we're gonna have more time this time, unless we get banned from the new forest. Why would we do that? I, I, <laughs> no idea. Well, it's great here because there is a wooden viewing platform where you can often see the deer because I think they do a feeding there and there's signs and everything telling you all the different types of deer that you can see. But every time we've come here, including today, there aren't any. But that's fine because it makes it more exciting because we could go deer hunting. Not the horrible deer hunting, the nice deer. Hunting. Looking for deer. We're going looking, looking for, deer for deer in the woods, which is, yeah, I agree, more adventurous. Well, we've spotted some deer, but we've had to make our way down through this bit of woodland to try and get a shot of them. It's not very easy to get a shot of them because oh. we're kind of under these trees and they're out in the field and it makes them really bright, but did manage to get some shots of them walking along and eating the grass. The size of the antlers on that daddy there, they are enormous. I'm quite glad, actually, but they're in the uh, conservation bit behind this fence and that we didn't meet him out in the woods. I'm sure last time he was here, they weren't. They weren't there. They weren't locked in this. Not locked in this, but you know what I mean? They're, Some are roaming free. Are I think not? that, so this I think is the conservation bit. So oh. this is like a protected bit. Right. And then there are other ones that roam free in the woods. Just spotted some fallow deer off in the woods. They either ran away because of my beautiful singing, because I was generally just singing at that point, or they were scared. I think they're just scared. <laughs> <laughs> also, I don't know why I'm all of a sudden talking like we're on a nature program. <laughs> right, guys. Oh, he's gone Australian again. <laughs> we're in the new forest and we're tracking deer. Follow me. There's loads down there. Oh, there's loads down there. Bye. I was literally just saying, I bet we're walking past about 10 of them right now. And there was like 10 down. I was like, Josh. We Josh. only managed to catch also, those. I don't know if this is intentional, but they've made all of the walkways gravel so that you make a ridiculous amount of noise as you're walking yeah. along. <laughs> like you can't even sneak, but yeah, they were all in there. See you later. I look like Tina Turner. <laughs> Tina. <laughs> Nut bush city limits. Nut bush city limits. We're normal. <laughs> if the deer weren't scared before, they're definitely scared now. <laughs> he was literally doing that and then he stopped and was like... <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't believe it. We literally just traipsed all of the way around that forest to find the deer and struggled to get those shots. And then we've come back to the top and they're all right by the viewing platform. Sod's law. Sod's law. <laughs> So this is a new part of the new forest for us. This is Cadman's Pool, and it is one of the places that the free roaming horses are known to come and drink. But unlike this morning in Brockenhurst, we managed to just get here in time to see this gray horse on the side actually drinking from the pool. I literally just run around the side. I was like, take the camera and run, so I can run. <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 no. Oh, I got it. But it's also apparently where all of the new forest geese and ducks come to enjoy as well. It's really windy up here though. Very windy and I've got cinnamon bun in the car waiting for me. Oh yeah. <laughs> the reason it's windy is because it's so open. Like you can see right across and then I think the horses are just about to cross the road again over there, but I'm so glad we got here when we we did because yeah. two minutes later we'd have missed that yep. guys like don't know what all the fuss is about see it multiple times a day couldn't give a monkeys couldn't give two hoots <laughs> Well, the new forest never lets us down. Whenever we come here, whatever time of year it is, we always have an amazing time. But if you wanna see some more of our adventures around the UK, then click this video here and join us as we go hunting waterfalls in Devon. We'll see you over there. Show you later. You can have your cinnamon bun now. Cinnamon bun. <laughs>